Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Oof. A little metal for your Friday. Hi everyone. How we doing? How's everybody? How's everybody? How's nobody? How's the person? I don't know. Any face. Okay. Here comes the screen though. I like it, but I know it's not for everybody. So I'm just gonna switch over here. Something more appropriate, I guess. Oh, come on, really? Uh, I'll just play it on. Random. Random. Who's here from Journey June? The page. And the challenge, I guess. Ah. Uh. Uh oh. I don't think I announced the pin on the last stream. When was the last stream? Friday. Oh, I didn't have it on the last stream. Wait. Yeah, no. No. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Well, I just sent out some today, so now I don't have one that's properly put together. Give me a moment. Okay. Okay. You guys, how are you doing? No one's talking. Come on, what's up? I'm going to work on my journey June for today. What are you guys working on? Is everybody up to speed? Are you behind? Are you ahead? Are you right on target? What's going on? All right. So, um, this is the pin. But um, ah, so lovely. It's a little bit hefty, but I don't know, man. I always think like a little bit more heft. It's a little bit more expensive, you know. But it's not. It's cheap. It's ten bucks. Anyway. Um, this is so it closes, so, and it stays closed usually, but, um, it's got the what, what is Journey June, if you ever have to explain it to somebody, you've got it right here, uh, you know, when you try to coerce your friends into it, and then you've got the who and why, like, who's it for, why is it here, and then you have a whole list here of the prompts for all month, so if you get the pin, you can end up taking the whole list with you, and let's say it's November, you feel like writing a story, You've got that to take with you. So at the bottom of the screen there is the uh, the address. Make sure to do it in all lowercase. Because if you don't, you might not see what it's, you know. You, you won't go the right place. It might take you to some hellish page or something. But anyway. Okay. Um, so let's see what's going on. Oh. My page still says it's the kickoff stream. Come on. My chat has nothing in it. Is anybody saying anything? Could someone just say something so I can make sure it's working? Um. I keep trying to rename it, but it won't let me. I don't think it lets me during streaming lame just lame All right. well I'll type something uh oh it's not working oh no okay So I guess my chat hasn't been working. If anybody has said anything, I haven't seen it. I'm so sorry. Give me a minute. I'm going to see if I can fix it here. Because even me typing things, I can't see it. What is going on? Oh my god. This is the weirdest bug. I haven't experienced this with Twitch before. Hold on.
Let me try a different browser. Because this is ridiculous. What a strange thing. Waiting for it to load. Goodness. You gonna work? Oh my god, what? Let me see if my phone works. This is incredible. Oh my god, network error. Okay, I guess I can see it on my phone. So, somebody want to say something real quick so I can check that my phone's working? Why isn't it working on my computer? This is all kinds of weird. You guys, this is so weird. So maybe just want to put it in an emoji or something? It's not working on my computer, but I can see it on my phone, so I guess we're going to have to do it this way. <sighs> I don't even think restarting it would do anything. is happening oh thank you Anki for the follow well at least it's giving me updates but man why is the chat not working this is so messed up is anyone else having that problem and if you say something, I can see it on my phone, I think. I mean, it's been showing it to me for other stuff, so... Oh, good lord. But for some reason, it's not working on my... Oh! There we go. Okay. Well, I can see my own now. Just anybody, please say something. One thing so I can at least see if the chat is working other than my chats. Because <laughs> if not, that's a little weird. Oh, is Twitch freaking out? Oh. Other people are saying it's mess too. Um... Okay, I'm talking with somebody on Discord. So you guys can't chat either, huh? Uh, oh no, Twitch, what are you doing, man? No! Oh. Well, this is so awkward for me, <laughs> but I'm really glad that at least, you know, thank you to those of you who are telling me in Discord that, hey, it's kind of effed, it's not my fault, because this is weird. Oh no, Twitch, why'd you have to pick today, buddy? All right, well, this is going to be fun. You know what, though? I've gotten used to this because of uh, Instagram Live. Since it's just me talking, and I've been doing that lately with Journey June because a lot of the people from Journey June I don't think want to come over and watch these, which is okay. I totally get going from platform to platform is a really tough sell, 
you know, and it's kind of pulling teeth to get people over here. So that's why I started doing it on there because that's specifically for the people following that account. So it makes sense when I'm not really looking for more exposure, but I'm looking to contact and interact with the people that are on that account. So I've gotten really used to just talking to myself. <laughs> so this is going to be kind of easy. However, I reloaded um, my window about three times and I can see me chatting. So maybe if you guys just like reload it a few times, it's a long shot, but eh. Yeah, could. Um. Oh, really? You only see yourself? Okay. Ugh. Well, let's see. How about, um, oh, okay. Twitch chat down. I'm gonna make a quick channel in Discord. Um, it's called Twitch Cat Twitch Chat Down, and it's in, under the Twitch area. So let's go in there for now, and I'll keep that open. And we'll do it this way. Uh, kind of sucks for the people who aren't in our Discord. I'm sorry, uh, but um, ugh, I guess. Well, I suppose there is something I could do. Okay, hold on. Man, putting out fires, yeah. I will try to get an instant invite to our discord fuck's sake and then I was gonna put it up on the screen I, I'm so blanking out right now where is everything oh, oh my god you guys why didn't the discord why are you a butt oh here we go okay duh you and I think summary expires after never uh X number uses no limit okay okay <sighs> well this was our first 20 minutes okay how are you guys doing the ones that are here that want to talk in discord tell me real quick um I'm gonna put the Discord link up in a minute for anybody that wants to chat. Uh, chat, Twitch chat down, go here. Oh. <laughs> that seems to work. There we go. Uh, let's give it a different color, Ashley. Um. There we go. Look at this ugly text. Oh well. What a strange thing to happen today. Hope everybody's been, Friday's been better than whatever the crap's going on right now. This is crazy. Out of all the bugs, I did not expect this one. I'll be honest. Okay. Let's do this, and we'll do this, and we'll do this. Okay. Hey, we got a few of you in here. Awesome. Thanks for coming, Fricka, Yushin, Snigel, Mama. Good tip day, good salad, pretty good day. That's great. Today is a good day. It's better than yesterday. Yesterday was a bucket of butts. That's pretty accurate, actually. It's about a bucket of butts. So. Oh, fire seal. <sighs> okay. You guys, Nightshade is almost dead. Look at this. It's almost dead. 50 cents and you can kill a man. 
<laughs> uh, all right. Stinky butts? Yeah, it was a bucket of stinky butts. They weren't even clean butts. It wasn't... It's not a good day. Uh, if you guys resub, let me know uh, in here, because I don't know if it's going to show up, because more butts, I guess. The bucket of butts translated onto Twitch, apparently, so now they're there. Alright, let's do this. How's everybody's journey June going, though? Uh, Alright, so yesterday... Oh, real quick, I don't think I've shown this yet. So, uh, in the back of my book here, this is a little bit meticulous, a little bit organizer crazy, anal even. But I have a little holster here in the back for my thumbnailing. Honestly, so good to have. I'm not even kidding you. Like, I used to have this just loose, and it'd either get bent up, messed up, ruined, whatever. So I made a holster, because I'm that guy. But it's awesome. So no regrets. I am that guy, and I'm okay with that. So... I am going to put this at the top of the screen, though, because I don't feel like making an actual graphic. <laughs> so this is how I'm going to deal with this. Um, but how am I going to get it to stay there? I'll put my phone there. A analog. There we go. Tricks. Shield your baby eyes. Shield them. Oh my goodness. I said it anal. It's true. It's true. Hey man, honestly, if you're behind like three days, I think three days is like the brink of being too far to catch up. But um, if you're just one down, you are you can catch up easy. Especially you, mama. You can do it. Alright, so yesterday was... The first obstacle, the tiny test, um, there was somebody uh, that I saw that had their person just floating. And I was like, is this, a, you know, I've been going around and I've been asking people, you know, are you sure this has to do with the prompt today? You know, I just want them to think about the choices they're making, right? And they were like, well, it's like the overall test for the story. And I was like, bro, you've got four more trials. Like, this is just the first one. It's supposed to be stupid, like a shoelace breaking. You know, something dumb like that. But they were, like, all existential about it. I was like, no, 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 no. So, for her, the first thing was no lyrics. Um, tiny test was, uh, I fell out of this bee that I ran into after falling out of something else. And now I'm falling here, and then I fall into water. And then the water is very cold, and then I start spinning, and then I get on this basket, and then I get my little bag, and now this is supposed to kind of start telling you there's land nearby. So I'm going to go into this now, and we're going to go into a muddy area, and that's going to be today's tiny trial, you know, so. Sniggle, you've been killing it, though. Like... You've been putting up a ton of stuff. It's funny, though, because I feel like I can see your influences on a couple of them. Like, there's one you had that kind of looked like Cass, her style a bit. And then there was another one that kind of looked like Gabe's style a little bit. But at the same time, they're very you. So it's kind of cool it's just that it seems like you're, you're playing. And I, I think that's awesome. Opening a gate! See, that's what I'm talking about. You get it. Man. Like, and this wasn't even, like, a, a language barrier thing. It was just, I don't know what they were thinking. So hopefully they kind of redo it. Because it was, like, three panels of her just, like, starting to float. And I was like, that has nothing to do with the prompt. I'm sorry. But it does not. <laughs> yes! Okay, cool. So I was right about that. That's awesome, though. I mean, that's what practice is, right? And as long as you're not, like, not crediting him and, like, 
capitalizing on it and trying to steal everything he is, you're okay. Um, so Twitch's chat is down. So I'm using Discord. I know, so it's... Oh, is the chat back now? I can see someone. Can you guys see what I just wrote? Everybody check your chat real quick. Hey! Yeah! Alright. Get out of Discord, y'all. <laughs> it's back up. Man, they put out that fire pretty quick. I gotta be honest. Um... I'm gonna put this up here too, because it's pretty. I'm, I'm happy with it. Okay. Her? What? No, oh, that's me. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm gonna get rid of this though, because it's ugly. I'm gonna put that there. Okay. Well, thanks for being there for us, Discord. That was nice. Hi, Wiccan. Hey, Road Not Taken. Thanks for letting us know it was back. That's good, Sniggle. That's kind of the point, right? Yeah, you should. I feel you. Well, the Journey June tag is a little messy right now, but that's why I made Journey June 19 for this year. So it's... I think it's like to, is it 400? Or is it just, I don't know, I'm getting 100 in my head and I'm getting 400. I don't know which one's right. Um, 514, wow. Um, so Journey June 19 is the one for this year. I'm going to probably do that every year, so next year it'll be Journey June 20. But there was somebody that was using Journey June, and there's someone else doing it, and I had a fight with them yesterday. It's really weird. Um, <laughs> I don't want to go into it too much, but I don't think they know how hashtags work is kind of what it came down to. Um, or what they're for. So that was strange. Um, anyway. Thank you, Road. I appreciate that. So hashtags are for two reasons, mainly. One is, uh, and the main one is for everybody, everybody to kind of be able to find each other's stuff if they're doing kind of similar things. So if you're looking up traditional art, you can find other people doing traditional art, and it's a good way to explore. The other way is to use it as sort of a folder file organization thing that you can use for yourself or for an event. So if a bunch of people are going to like a company picnic and they have their own hashtag, all those people posting pictures could put it all under that hashtag without having to infringe on anyone's accounts. So similar to this challenge, every year I make a new hashtag for all those to go under. So, cause last year's is like up to 2,700, something like that. So I was like, well, you know, it's gonna get crazy if we keep it at this one, so. That way you know at least the, uh, 2018 was the first year, because it's just Journey June, then Journey June 19, then Journey June 20, so. You can do that, you can put hashtags in the comments, but I think it doesn't work after a certain point. Yeah, like there's a like, rumor saying that you yeah, but if you're trying to, like, retrofit something into a file system, yes, it works. But if you're trying to monopolize on a hashtag and get seen better, I don't think it works the same. <laughs> like, it won't show up at the top. Because usually uh, when people go into a hashtag, they're going to the top of it and looking down, right? So the first views usually get um, the most clicks, right? So. I don't think it gets put in there if it gets put in the comments. It has to get put in the post and timestamp, technically, for it to be in that feed of the actual hashtag. It's crazy. That's fantastic, Mama. I'm so happy to hear that. Does it feel good to realize stuff? Man, I love that so much. 
Yeah, Mayfox, I noticed you're going right or heavy too. Is that a little bit easier? I think last year we had a we had a good amount of writers, actually. It seemed to work well for them. I mean, you only need like a sentence or two, basically, if you want to do bare minimum. But okay. Uh, oh, also, PSA: everybody should look up uh, the Whirly Gig Beetle. This is the cutest damn thing. They can't go on land, but in water, they're adorable. They just kind of scoot around really quick, and they go in like you know curves and things. May Fox is new stream queen. Oh man. With a sub. Thank you, May Fox. Ten. Hey. Here. You get ten sub shrub nub rubs. Ready? Make a wish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Thank you, May Fox. Revoked. Um you know what? Maybe I should put a sub shrub in the story. That would be cute. Give me a chance to actually redesign him a little better. Hi, Mai! How are you? They're ouchy boys. Do they sting? Oh, I didn't read that part. I watched a little cute video of this guy that was just taping them and they were real cute. I didn't know they sting. Aww. Well, I looked at one and I liked kind of how it was constructed, so... They bite! Oh no! You sure it's the same little guys? They're so cute! No! There is something I saw called a water scorpion. Uh, it sounds scary, but it just looks like hair. Like a strand of hair that's been broken into a couple pieces. Like, it has no shape. No anatomy, really. Nothing. It just... It's so scary alien looking because there's nothing there. And that one's messed up. I'm good, my. How are you? You on the bus? Okay, so we ended up with the sticks. So if anybody is doing confusing loot or is going to be doing it for today, um, try to make it kind of funny if you can. Uh, I, I put this one in there to kind of lighten things up because I think up until this point a lot of people are a little bit stressed about the story they're focusing too hard on maybe serious things dr drama I don't know some people are like going pretty hard at it so I thought you know by this time maybe throw in a little gag or something a little bit of humor yeah, some starship troopers nice good job snaggle <laughs> Did they ever make, like, a figure of the giant bug? The big brain? Yeah, the big brain bug? Oh, the one with the little eyes. The one that sucks out everybody's brains? That one was really cute. I actually really liked that one. He was pretty adorable. Anyway. Subway. Aha, uh -huh. there you go. Okay, so I had shown that she was getting her bag and that there were sticks. Um, can you break the 180 rule at any point? Do I just have to have a shot in between that's going about a quarter of the way? And then I can show it from behind? No. Or just figure out a different way to do it. Man. Yeah, okay. All right, so. So is it confusing loot? Oh man, this is right here. Look at, look, I'm using my own product. This is great. Uh, I didn't even realize this here. Okay, so it's confusing loot, then sticky situation, suitable saviors after that. Okay, that's perfect. So... I'm just gonna get on the ground, see the thing. I 
get stuck in some mud. Actually, okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna actually change that. Man, this is really cool. I, have you actually used this yet? Like this, I, I'm trying to advertise the pin by having it sit here, but then I was like, oh, I, I actually need this right now, and I didn't want to open the, anyway. I thought it was cool, sorry. <laughs> ah, the 180 rule. Okay, so basically you're not supposed to, like, if this camera that's looking at me is looking at me, <laughs> then the next shot can't be the camera directly behind me looking at me. Um, because that usually causes like confusion, uh, vertigo for the viewer because they lose their, um, they lose just like their, their frame of reference. Like, where am I now? Like they feel lost. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's jarring. Yeah, it's very jarring. So if, you know, you have to build up to being behind them or just figure out a different way to do it so that we know we're moving behind. Because think about, um, think about just looking at something, closing your eyes and then going around it and then looking at it again. It's like super jarring, right? So what you want to do is if your person's here looking this way and your camera's here, you know, you only want it to go... 180, uh, or sorry, 90 this way, 90 this way. Unless, you know, and then it, once you get it here, then you can bring it over here to look there. But you can't just go from here to there. Does that make sense? See, this is why we got these streams. Hey, I was thinking, I should have asked you this before the stream, but next week, do you want to do a uh, Journey June live stream on Instagram? giving comic tips like telling about panels and stuff I think that would be super helpful you could do it on Wednesday and then pimp your stream for later that night would that be good? okay um, cause I remember last year you gave a stream that was like don't use the triangle panels don't do this you know basically tell people to stick with squares you know but you could answer a bunch of questions cause a lot of them are doing comics so I think that would really help them. Oh, really, Mama? That's awesome. Oh, good. Okay, so Mayfox, you like that idea? Good. Think of some questions to ask him then. Because um, I'll start pimping that probably this weekend then and uh, early next week. Because I think, honestly... Like, me doing generic questions, yeah, it's nice, but I feel like a lot of the time people are just like, I just don't know how to do this. But if, you know, it's more obvious, that's why the first one I think I had a, the hero creation, I think that one worked out alright. I think that one was actually kind of helpful, so. Alright, so... Let's do this and have it kind of come up to, I was going to have it be really muddy here. Maybe I still will, but, and then in the previous shot, I showed these sticks. So I want to show them again to basically say, yeah, you know, this is what we are showing. This is one of those consistency things. And then that was the fly that was on there, so I might want to just show him hightailing it out of there. Honestly, doing things like this is a lot of call and answer type stuff. Like, you make something, and then the next one you got to remember that it was there, so call back to it. Otherwise, you'll just have all these new things popping up and people are like, what's going on? Where am I? Right? Okay, so... Like I said, I originally was going to have this area just all mud because I wanted st sticky situation to be the mud. 
Um, and I think I still might, but I have to set it up very particularly for suitable savior. Because that's... I don't even know, honestly, how I'm going to do that right now. Um, so I have to, I have to think about that. Because I know what I want to happen, but I don't know how I'm going to do it. Exactly. <laughs> That's awesome, Mama. Ooh, my, what about um making like indents with your teeth along to make like that kind of a shape and then take your teeth and then peel it back and then you can kind of go to town and maybe start pushing it through? I don't think that would make a mess. Not right away anyway. Once you start pushing it, it might, but I think you could do it. Okay, so I want this to be a mix of mud and grass. So... Yeah, I think you could just peel down a section at a time around it and just kind of numb that out. And it's totally okay with these uh, thumbnails to resort back to kind of childlike drawing. So if you've got water, I would almost say do these waves like a kid would, just so it's clear to everybody for right now that that is water. Um, Sometimes clear, concise iconography will help people understand where we are. Um, and I mean, obviously you can make that look more realistic later if you want, but right now, clarity is just the most important thing. You can do it, we believe. All right, and then in this one, I think, it's gonna be like, oh my God. Okay, so here's an example of adapting the 180 rule. Um, I've got her here, and I want her to see something, and then I want us to show what it is, right? But I wanted to show what it is from behind her, her seeing it. But before that, I'm going to show her reaction to it so that we're like, what? What do you see? And then show it. So there's a little second there of, like, you know, curiosity for the viewer, which I... We think helps like uh, get them into it, right? Like it's part of having. Um... Oh my God, what's the word I'm looking for? Not intimacy, but engagement. Yeah, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Engagement. Oh, did you guys see my story from the other day with the little real pip I made? Some of you might dig this. I thought it was cute. So there's my clover pit pen. Right. Uh, there we go. That's what she's supposed to be. Uh, Gabe had a guy at cake ask if it's an artichoke. <laughs> I thought that was cute. I mean, you know, if he's into artichokes and 
He wants to think it's an artichoke. Okay. But, I mean, it's not. But I just thought it was kind of funny somebody thought it was an artichoke. But I, I found um, a bunch of actual clovers and their leaves. This isn't how they naturally occur. So I had to, like, take it apart and put it together how she's kind of put together. So, anyway, I thought that was cute. I think a lot of people couldn't see what I saw, so doing it like that kind of helps. Oh, good lord, why is it? Yeah, there we go. Yes, engaging. That's what it was. Um, hi, Serenity! I know, I love thistles. I actually think I'm gonna do a thistle for one of the other pip months, but it seems more like, I know it's not, but uh, maybe I'll make it like, um, oh no, August is something else. Is September too late for thistles? When do those start going away? Do you know? This is here. This is here. Oh my goodness. I think that's what I wanted to do. Now this should be a extreme close up. I'll be honest, I'm not enjoying this story as much as last year's. I like the character a lot, but so far um, the story's not as en engaging to me as the last one was last year. Um, I mean, it is really cute, but I feel like I'm gonna have a lot more to do on this afterwards than last year's. Like, last year's, I really feel like it, it really was solid, kind of on its own. I only have to do, from what I remember, two changes, honestly, and I'm happy with the story mainly. But this one, I mean, it's simple. It's not as, like crazy or intricate as last year's, so. of the summer they start going to see. Okay. So do you think they're around in September? Because I'd like to make one for September. Unless maybe, what was I doing for July? Did I already say what I was doing for July? Maybe I could actually make them for July. Yeah, I thought I had something for July, but right now I can't remember what it is. But if I... Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe I can do it for July then. A thistle pip would be really cute. Oh, 
This song is cuckoo bananas. Are you my? That's great. I'm so glad. Yours is really cute. I like your character guy. He's got good hair. <laughs> What's your favorite part about it so far? Okay, so right now there's going to be grass here, okay? But this is like a mud pit, right? And sometimes just shading a little bit can really help, like differentiate areas. Um, there's someone that is doing their journey June, and uh, honestly, all they're doing, maybe I could show it, hold on. Took me a minute to find for Gabe yesterday, but um, they were doing something extremely simple. Oh wow, good, I found it right away. Um, but it really it helped so much just to like show where things are at all times and who's what, even if it's super messy. So they're just block coloring in here key colors for certain elements. So she's pink, he's purple, and the shield is green. So every time you see green, you know it's going to be the shield. So even if it's really crappily done, you know, like drawn, you'll still know it's the shield. Like right here, it looks like a piece of paper, but since it's green and she established that earlier as being the shield, this works so well. Like, so well. So I told Gabe to actually start doing this with his, because he's got a lot of just oval characters. So you can't really tell who's the good guy and who's the bad guy, technically. But this helps so much. And if you can't do color or you're like me and you don't necessarily want to bring it into Photoshop and then put it up, just doing values can kind of just accomplish that for you. You know, so doing this is telling you a lot more than just if it was blank, right? Lurk mode. Do it up, mama. <laughs> right, Mai? You get it. Okay, so you might actually be more of a storyteller at heart than an illustrator, because I'm kind of the same way, and I think that's really how I got into wanting to tell more stories. And honestly, I feel like, um, so that was a big deal to me, to be able to you know, show more action and more things over a course of a story, right? Instead of just one illustration. It's really hard for me to even do a kid's book that just has one illustration. So I'm ending up somewhere in between doing, like, kid's comics. So, um, but when I got my animation degree, I think, as much as I love animation, I was like, I gotta find an in-between because, you know, animation's taking too long, it's a really hard product to sell. Like, if I, let's say I animated this, right, instead of making it a comic or something, how am I going to monetize that? I mean, I could sell it on Etsy as a downloadable. I could put it on Patreon as a patrons-only thing, but that's not really going to be worth it in the end. You know, there's no really good way to monetize indie animation I feel so because of that the next step back from that that would be easier that's also a way to monetize the story is to do it as a comic or a story you know that's got at least sequences in it right um, so I don't know I just found that interesting when I got to the point where I was like you know I don't want to work for an animation studio and I don't want to do games anymore so how would I monetize animation it's like you can't like right now there's no good way to really do it i mean unless you go viral or something and you get known for kind of doing that then you could make a patreon solely for that and give like tutorials on how to animate things like that but if you're a small town guy and you don't have many followers you're not viral nothing like that you can't really do it like it's not really feasible for you you know i don't know unless it's a hobby for 
you know, a while and you build up something, I don't know. It would just be really tough. Also, if you want to show distance in a very small way, uh, even just drawing grass, getting smaller, just like that, like a tuft here, tuft there, and a tuft there kind of show you uh, you're going back in space, right? Let's see, for mud, I'm gonna do dots. Texture's important too. So if I've got, you know, grass being very hair-like, and I add in a couple dots and some circles in here, this is a different texture than this area, but... Right, Yushin? It kind of sucks. It's like, unless you're doing it big time, you can't really do anything with it. It sucks, you know, unless you're part of like a studio or or you're doing something kind of crappy um, with it that's not what you originally want to. Like, I didn't want to do animation for fast food menus. Like, that wasn't me. So, I... You know, I didn't love animation that much where I was like, oh yeah, I'll animate a burger sliding in. It's like, I don't want to do that. I could do that all day at home. I don't, don't want to do that. That's good, my... Getting to know the character is really fun, isn't it? And I love that stories allow you to do that and get to know them really well, as opposed to just an illustration where you have a still of a character. You're like, this is them! And you maybe make a little paragraph backstory it's like, man, actually, a, a kind of fun story I have is that um, one of my prints that's part of my caster series, I usually like telling people the stories behind, you know, the illustrations I have at my booth. There are a couple that are just straightforward. They are what they are. But there's a couple I made stories for, and there's one in particular that I made so kind of intriguing and in-depth that usually after I tell people it's like instant sell, they're like, oh, I need that then. I was like, oh, what if I had a companion mini comic that I sold with it so they could have that story, you know, with it. And then, you know, just charge five bucks more for this, the print and the zine. I mean, that's a way to do it. And I was like, hell yeah, I gotta do that. I thought about doing the zine for Journey June, but that's a totally different formula than the hero's journey it's it's a snippet of time so it doesn't it would it just won't work so that's going to come at a later time but i just thought that was so cool that me explaining it to people over time it made its own story and then i can actually make that story to sell with the print that anyway i thought it was cool <laughs> that's so good my i'm so happy for you that's exciting! I love it when people figure stuff out by trying things. That's so exciting to me. I don't know. And I don't even care what it is. If they figure out, man, I love working on cars. I'm like, oh, that's great. <laughs> Good for you for figuring out what you like, you know? Uh, Serenity loves your story, Gabe. Thank you. She loves your angry chicken. Mm -hmm. Today's is gross, though, isn't it? Today's is the gross one? Mm -hmm. Today's is gross, so you've been warned. Gabe's gonna get into potty humor, so... <laughs> I think it's funny, but I mean, it's really gross, but it's funny. His little beetle guys, though, I think kind of saved the day. But anyway, okay. So she sees this giant spoon, right? And she's got her spoon. So showing this juxtaposition immediately after her uh, expression up here shows, oh my God, I need that one, right? And you're like, oh yeah, that one's way bigger. But her eyes are a little bit bigger than her, I'm going to say heart right now because she can't eat a spoon. But um, I want to show her kind of throw her spoon. And go after the new spoon. Which is kind of sad. I wouldn't be this type. She's very unlike me, because I wouldn't just ditch something old for something new like this, especially if this really, you know, helped me in a lot of instances. 
Well, let's see. So then there's this big spoon. And it's got to be big enough, but not too big, where she can attempt to pick it up. Right? Obviously, it's just a stick kind of shape, like a spoon, but she sees a spoon. Um, well, here you put it up, right? You put it up? You can go look, Mai. <laughs> You've been warned. Um, let's see. This goes... I don't care how many 3D classes I've had. I don't care how many like cinematography classes I've had. I always have trouble thinking of things from a different angle. So this area, thinking about this, but from this view, I think would be like this. It just, it always, always stops me up. It takes me a minute to think about it. I just, it's never automatic. Especially with landscapes. If it's a character, like if it's her, I think that's different. But yeah, for the most part, I just, oh, it can be tough. And then remember, if you're shading something like this, keep it consistent. You want to keep showing it that way. Yeah, right, Serenity? Gosh. Angles, I'm telling you. And it's it feels like it doesn't get easier, in my opinion. I don't know. Gabe, how do you feel about that? I'm sorry, Like, um... I have a problem seeing things from different angles, especially landscape. So if I'm looking at something from the front and then I go over to the side and I'm trying to redraw it from the side, I have to like really think about it. Huh. And I feel like it doesn't get any easier. Um, it, it depends on where my mind is, but if I give it a minute, I, I can remap Oh, really? But that's because I have to go to the I see. So you're used to it. Yeah. You're brain trained. Mm -hmm. Gabe's a vet. We forget about this. <laughs> okay, so she's going towards the spoon. And I say this challenge is easy too, because I mean, if I was just drawing one illustration or one thumbnail rather for every one of these prompts, I mean, think of how quick each one of these is technically taking me if I wasn't talking so much. I tell people like 15 minutes tops to do a thumbnail this big, right? It's, I mean, come on. It really is my, right? Oh my goodness. I'm coming to the conclusion she's kind of dumb. I didn't think she was dumb, but now knowing that she's going after this without realizing that it's too big for her makes me think, okay, she's kind of dumb. That's okay, she's lucky because she's made out of clover, so she's got that going for her, but she's, she's dumb. <laughs> and this is what I mean by like, your characters will kind of tell you who they are by their actions. I mean, yeah, ultimately it's you making those decisions, but at the same time, there's a part of you, I think, that wants these decisions for them, so, you know, you can't always have a smart character, I guess. Zerk, thank you for the follow. <laughs> and Steve, thank you, Steve. Welcome. We are working on Journey June right now. Actually, this one be here. See, this is one of those things. Okay, so she was there. It's there now. She'd be right here right now. So all this, all this isn't here. 
so my brain has to recalibrate where we are. So I think it would just go over. And if we did see anything, no, it wouldn't even because of this one. Okay, so never mind. She's got dumb luck. Oh, I love that. Yushin, I love that. I'm gonna screen cap that. That's great. Yes! See? Bye! Perfect! Oh my gosh. You're like a model student. Thank you. <laughs> that makes me so happy. You get it. Like, you get it. That's so good. No. Oh. I was getting kind of, um, I guess discouraged yesterday about it because I felt like it wasn't going the same as last year but at the same time like I'm doing less than I was last year because uh, I made all the prompts last year so like all the images are made so all I'm really doing is going through and looking at people's posts liking them commenting on them if I notice something um, but I don't know, I felt like I was doing something wrong because I wasn't doing as much. But I think it's fine. Uh, the only thing that's different this year is I feel very protective of the challenge. So anybody who's kind of using the hashtag, I mean, we got word that there was another challenge that came on um, using the hashtag and it was like a Pokemon. Uh, journey thing, which is a cute idea, but honestly and ultimately a waste of time because you can't do anything with it. But, um, it's, it was using our hashtag and it was starting to muddy it up even more. So, it, you know, I contacted their creator. I was like, hey, you know, I, I think it's going to be kind of hard for both our people to be finding everyone's posts if we're all using the same hashtag. And, you know, we had started this last year, blah, 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 blah. She is very understanding, very sweet, immediately was like, no, you're totally right, you know, we have to change it, um, I'll use what I was using the previous year, change it a little bit, and I was like, awesome, thank you so much. Like, it's so nice when someone on the internet actually hears you out, and you guys can talk like adults instead of just fighting, because then yesterday I kind of went to some people that were posting food. Here was the weird thing, and it's super super strange. There's someone posting food, okay, pictures of food, on the Journey June hashtag, the main one, and they're only hashtagging Journey June and Journey June 19, okay? That's the first weird thing. They aren't even hashtagging food, which is like what you do in their desserts. They're not hashtagging dessert either. And then the other weird thing is that it's not even their pictures. If you look at their profile, they say they're just posting things they find. So why is this person that also two years ago they created the account, then it went dead for two years, and all of a sudden they're posting weird food that's ill hashtagged? I almost feel like it's some enemy of mine that's trying to irk me. I don't know. So I tried talking to him, failed, and they just don't seem to understand how hashtags work. So I was like, okay, well, I can't keep seeing this. It's going to bother me. So I actually blocked them. But I don't know. I really have this underlying feeling like I probably know them. But I probably don't. I don't know. It's really strange. It's so weird. Yeah, my, I don't know. I don't know who I pissed off two years ago. I piss off somebody every year. <laughs> I don't know what I did. Um, how to use good hashtags. Um, so I would use a hashtag that, well, it depends. If you're trying to find hashtags to get into, I actually read an article recently that said don't use hashtags that are actually used too much. Like the ones with millions, maybe don't use those, but use the ones that have like hundred thousands. I don't know. I don't know how reliable that is, but maybe try both. Uh, Instagram does have a hashtag cap, so watch out for that. Use only the ones that are super pertinent. Um, hey, DHT. But that's for exposure. Make, you know, traditional art, stuff like that, pencil. Um, 
but if you're using them for organization, before you even make one, go see if it's being used by anybody. Um, if it's not, awesome. Try to make something that, I know it sounds dumb, but almost like a password, where it's super weird. Um, so like my pet and armor one is literally H-S-A-Y-P-I-A, -A, which to me says hard shell art your pet in armor. So I remember it, but I can't just tell it to someone. Then again, if you're using hashtags like well to that extent that you want them to be yours and just for like organizing something, it does kind of have to be weird like that probably. That's why I say everybody use JJ and then their story name because even having JJ is a little bit obscure, right? So we're starting off good. And then whatever you fill in after that, you know, Good for you, DHT. And this is where I say quitting is good sometimes. If you're not feeling it, don't force yourself to work on it because you're just going to end up with a product you hate. So good job. It takes bravery to quit something. <laughs> a female villain, okay. Just make sure she's not too basic, you know? Yeah, Sniggle, you definitely can. And you can do that in the comments, too. And that's why I'm saying, like, you can retrofit things to organization in the comments, but you can't use comment hashtags to get into a hashtag for exposure, really. Does that make sense? Okay, so she's got that, and she's gonna... Now do I zoom in and have her pull it out more, or...? Sure, she's moving it. Yeah, so Sniggle, let's say all these pieces you've been doing lately are part of a series, right? You could go back in and hashtag, uh... Sniggle sketch zero one and that's like your first sketchbook or something so you put them all together and it's really nice to be able to send those to somebody so here's the thing um the other day we went to get Bruni's nails trimmed so um oh, get the f god I hate follow me get out of here um so the vet down the street has a little kiosk thing in the in the entrance way of the clinic that has like all these things that it's like pet insurance but it's also got like other pet portrait artists um things like that that are just in their local stuff um so i was like hey can i put my stuff out there they're like oh yeah we don't care yeah go for it so i came home i made a flyer in like 15 minutes grabbed a ton of business cards and went back. It's like 30 seconds away. It's not even a thing. And uh, I dropped it off there. Then I got home and I'm like, I haven't posted a pet and armor in a long time. So if somebody goes to my Instagram, they're not going to see it right away. And I was like, oh my God, why didn't I do this sooner where I actually put the hashtag in the profile? Because you can tag people and put hashtags in profiles and be able to click them. So the first thing, if you go to it, you see this and you're like, oh, okay. And you click it and these are all the pet and armors then. So I made it really easy for anyone coming into this, at least this social media platform, to be able to find them. If they go on Facebook or Tumblr, it's going to be a little bit harder. But I don't care because Instagram is kind of my main. So... Making something this easy for people, um, it's one of the biggest like website rules is to make sure that everything that you need people to see is under three clicks. Because after that, they're basically not even going to care, right? If they have to actually look for something, people won't do it. Most people won't do it. So you make it like stupidly obvious to get to something. So that's a good way to do it. Bye, Yushin. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. I know it's late for you, so thank you. It was good to see you. Yeah, have a good one. 
All right. So I guess I could have a close up of it coming out of the ground now with something weird attached. So I'm going to make up a little creature that is based on something, but here. I think he's going to be a little bit bigger than her. So because of that, I have to think of how big she is, how big the spoon is, and how big this creature is going to be. Which, that is a lot to think about, and that's why, you know, no illustrations, just thumbnails. So she's pulling it up. Um, there is one person that is actually painting them. Um, they're doing it, like, super concept sketchy, though. But, I mean, they are fully painted. They're just really rough. And I, I told him, I'm like, you don't have to do this. You can do sketches. And all they did was like the post, which I'm like, okay. But they, they do seem good enough to be able to know if they're doing too much for themselves. So I was like, all right. Yes, May Fox, I did. I did. I mean, if Derek read it, he'd probably get it. But just hearing it, I'm sure, yeah, because loot is a homophone. So that makes sense. That's cute. He's cute. <laughs> that seems like a thing Gabe would do, actually. <laughs> um, let's see, because she's standing here. It made your day. Good, it should. That was really cute. Honestly, I probably should have moved that down. So honestly, I'm making up a bug for this. That's kind of based on a couple bugs I like. Um, but as far as I know, I tried to research like bugs that live in mud. There aren't really many. Um, not that like live live in mud. Um, there are bugs that use mud, like uh, mud daubers which are like wasps that take mud and make little cocoons out of them. But I didn't want to do a wasps. A wasp. Wasps seem very uh, violent. Like their design <laughs> is super violent looking. And I feel like it'd be really hard to make a cute wasp. Like you could do it. It'd just have a big butt, honestly. But it'd still have a stinger, which is also still violent. So I don't know. <laughs> um, they don't actually do anything. Wasps? Yeah. Oh no, they sting bad. No, I mean like, they're purpose. Uh, to be jerks? Yeah. They're like nature bullies? So this guy I think is already going to be mean. He's going to be angry. Maybe he's a beetle. Right now, he looks too much like a lobster. Since this is still the mud. We want to show it's still the mud, so have mud type things. I might just zoom in on this when I take the picture of it. That's another thing too. If you end up making like way too much space like I am here, like I kind of, I did this a little bad. I shouldn't have done it like this. 
I should have pulled this down into here, but for right now, if I just come in here, that's probably close enough and it'll make sense. Um, redo the cover art on the loom. That's probably good, May Fox. Yeah. I mean, whoever's. Well. Huh. That's tough, because the rat is kind of your main subject for the first issue. I mean, how many rat things do you have at your table? Is it like three? Oh, two rat things on my table. Okay. Oh, really? Okay, so you're going to have that problem, though, with stuff. Like, just because I have two... I have three mouse things on my table and people just always oh you like mouse guard uh okay i mean you're gonna run into that though and i mean if you do like rats i mean if they're gonna be in your stuff maybe embrace it i don't know it all depends on what you want okay honestly what if you just had the pomegranates just really big pomegranates. That could be kind of cool. Sometimes less is more. I don't know. It depends. Alright, so now I gotta make more of these. The other crappy thing is uh, Instagram only lets you put up 10 pictures at a time if you're under a certain follower count. Follower count? Um. Actually, Gabe, do you want to look up if you do get more pictures you can post, if you have more followers? I don't know if that's completely true. Like, you know how you can only do 10 pictures at a time on Instagram? I want to know if your follower count denotes how many you can do. So if I get over 10k, do I get to post more pictures per post? I don't know though. Like maybe they've just never had a reason to. Like even in like on like legit accounts. Can you just look it up? Take you two seconds. I'm gonna figure out how to say it. Um follower count post more images per post. Instagram. Something like that. Oh god, dog farts. Honey. Stinky. I know my hand's going to get messed up from a lot of the, the lead. Oh, I don't have my glove. Oh yeah, you have over that, don't you? Yeah, if you can just see if you can just select more than 10 for a post, my that'd be amazing. Well, May Fox, the rap might not be making people interested in it either. So, I don't know, you have to think of, well, first of all, that, you know, if you're verbally selling it to them, usually when you're, like, in person with them, you verbally selling it might be what it's hinged on, um, and not the cover, because honestly, I have a cover, my Symbols of Symbols book just says Symbols of Symbols, and usually because it doesn't have a ton on it, it actually draws people to look at it because they make their own assumptions about it and then they need to actually see, was I right? And so they actually look at the product to see what it's about. Um, so that's kind of up to you, but I don't know. I think it's okay. I don't see you as the rat chick. I have a friend who has her name as Rat Lady. So that's really owning it. But if you just balance it maybe with other animals at your table, like maybe if you have like two or three sphinx cats or something, and you've got two rats, then it's just like, I don't know, it's evened out. Okay, you can only do ten too? Okay. Mine's over ten? Uh, mine's over ten K, yeah. Wow. Oh, did you, Mayfox? So I met her, uh, Alinka, last year at Heroes, 
And it's funny now because she's running into all of my crew. So she got some stuff from, uh, well, you. And then uh, Tim and Key. And it's like, I don't even think she knows that I lived with Tim and Key for like two years. But it's just funny because we've been talking since. But yeah, she's a nice one. Okay, so she's gonna have a spoon and be looking at the this guy. He's kind of like a bulldog bug. I didn't even mean for that. But yeah, since you don't have as many rat things as she does, I don't think you have anything to worry about. Clover sprouts are here. You're so sweet. This one I might have to close in on, I don't know. Do I want his arms to be... Okay, maybe. Maybe. I want him to have a little bit more of an aggressive pose. So having his arms back and leaning forward might be... I also like them being cute in front of him. Oh, Jaeger, thank you for the follow. How's the little boogeyman doing? Is he a grumpy old man? He is. He's very strict to his schedule, so I don't really get to see him much. Um, he has his own room, basically. Um, he is graying quite a bit. I'm guessing he'll probably expire sometime next year. I think he'll be over two years at that point, so. Uh, can I fly a spaceship, DHC? What? Yes. I, I don't want to. Honestly, I don't like space. <laughs> space freaks me out, A. And B, I don't think I could handle, like, being in a spaceship. I can't handle roller coasters. I can't handle driving on the road if there's a dip, okay? If there's a sign that says dip, mm -mm. I feel like I'm gonna die. Like my stomach is way too sensitive. I can't deal with drops. So I do not belong in space. Uh, Gabe could probably do it. I can't. Diop. Yeah, nope. 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 Also, now I'm figuring out she's also a wuss. No, she's running. Oh, are you barking? Hold on.
she was doing little like arr, arr, arr. pause it again if I hear it DHC are you sure you're not making this person off of me maybe you should change your name so you don't take the uh, the bad feelings of the previous comic with this one what about that You guys can listen to this. Oh. <laughs> right, Serenity? I can't sit in the... What is it? The trunk? If I look backwards in a car, I'm gonna throw up. Like, I cannot drive in the trunk. I can't be in the trunk looking the way I'm not going. I can't be on a train that has the two seats that go either way and be looking behind me as I'm going forward. I cannot do that. Oh my god. I found that out the hard way too. I have no idea. No driving in San Francisco for you? Yeah. No. <laughs> right? Oh my god, I can't do it. What's wrong, Momo? Yeah, I don't know why you were on the hard floor either. <laughs> oh no. You're fine. You're fine. Mushy, shush. Hey. Rooney, hey, stop it. Where's that chicken head? It's over here. You wanna grab that and see if that distracts her for a bit? Yep, Serenity, me too. I'd rather stand. Is she into it? And give him these pincer things too. So he's kind of like a lobster spider bug. I don't know. I was thinking about doing an actual bug, but then I was like, you know what? This story has animate flowers, so maybe I should throw in some more weird creatures or ones that don't necessarily exist. So that's fine, DHT. You do you. I'm surprised you spell it that way. Like, if I was going to have a character named Ashley, I would not choose the basic spelling. <laughs> like, my spelling of my name is the most boring way to spell it. I mean, Starbucks always gets it right. So, <laughs> if that's any indication... How boring you are. There you go. Alright, so we gotta show what happened to the spoon stick, spoon log, I don't know. I'm gonna say she ditched it because she got scared.
Yours is Tabitha, right? T-A-B-I-T-H-A? That way? So chatty. What's wrong, honey? What's wrong? Why are you mad? You gonna lie down? You still tired? Maybe if yours had like a Y in it, Serenity, it might be a little bit like more difficult. I don't know. Can I have some water, Mom? Or did you? Is it still the old stuff? Damn it! Oh, Tabatha. You're right, then. Yeah, I misspelled it. Really? Interesting. I didn't actually know that. Ooh, Tabatha. But wouldn't you rather have... This is a question for any of you, actually. Would you rather have a unique name that not many people have and risk it being either mispronounced or misspelled often? Or would you rather have a basic name that millions other people have that people always say and spell right? Except mine, sometimes they do spell it wrong, but it's if they're feeling like, I don't know, extra. Exactly. So I'm jealous of you, Serenity. I think that your name's cool. I think you're, you're a lucky one. Mushy. That's loud for the people on, on, the, on the computer, you know. You gotta be nicer. Oh, there's like a bunch of names. So, Ashley, 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 uh, Ashley. Um, how many different ways? There's um, Ash. There's more. Any way you can spell Lee at the end is really, that's up for, you know, you can do it. Maybe go backyard? Backyard? Backyard! Go backyard! Go on, Mushy! Backyard? Open up the door, she's looking. Go! go. One, two, three! Go backyard! I mean, my way is the, like, basic way of spelling it, but I've had it sometimes where I guess someone else maybe was named Ashley, so they spelled it their name, their what, their way. Hey, shh. No more. Here. I'm going to mute it until we figure out why she's barking. Oh, but I did. <laughs> Serenity. It's weird. Especially when I went to school with like four or five other ones in my grade. And poor teachers. I gotta feel bad for them, you know? And they have to remember how to spell all of them. I could see that. Yeah, yeah, you're I could see that. Tamara, Tabara, Tabita. I like Tabita. Tamara, Tabia. So are those all German ways of saying Tabitha? Like, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Okay, so I think this was the end of confusing loot. Because this was the loot. Um, now, we go into a sticky situation, which is going to give way to suitable savior. So what's going to happen is, 
she's going to get stuck in the mud while being chased. So kind of a double sticky situation. And then uh, suitable savior is going to be cute. Um, if any of you are my patrons, you'll know who uh, the other pips are going to be that saver. Are those all ways of spelling it, though? That's crazy. Oh, I like that way better than the H way. I don't like H's, I think. Like, I get why they're there, but I don't think I like them. I don't know. What are your thoughts on H's, chat? Oh, <laughs> thank you, Yag. See you later. Um, okay, so she's running, and then it's, uh, she's going to get stuck, so I'm going to have one of her feet. This is the only thing I think that sucks about having a cute, rounded character, It's when you do extreme close-ups sometimes, they're a little hard to see what's going on. So that's going to be up to me later on to basically... Uh, alleviate, I guess. Because I'll either need to further show that, you know, this is this character through lighting or something else, you know. I think I like that about German, though. <laughs> Ugh, H's. They are necessary here, but that doesn't mean I have to like them. Did she have to go? She might want to go in the backyard, I don't know. She probably just wants to play. Oh, that is weird. Do they have like an accent or something or something to say at least that it has an H sound if it doesn't have an H? Or is it just what it is? Like that's how it is. What are you guys up to right now? Oh, this song's cute. Man, I love piccolos. They're so cute. They make me happy. Oh, weird, Serenity. 
I think I get what you mean. It might be like the confusion between U's and double O's for us. Like, I call her Smush, and sometimes I don't know if that should be a double O or a U. So I usually do a U because it's like mush with an S at the beginning, so Smush. But the U kind of makes me think it's like... Anyway, I think I understand what you're talking about. acrylic magnets like are you cutting out custom magnet shapes and painting on them I would assume that would crack them or the acrylic would crack discussing things well that's cool good job Snigel. here I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick I'll be right back Enjoy the music. <laughs> Okay. Oh, bye, Mai. Thanks for coming. Enjoy the rest of your time. Oh, I got you, Fox. Okay. That's cool. That's a good idea. Alright, so sticky situation is basically that. I mean, that's what you get for running across mud, right? Then maybe it'd be cool to help Suspense by showing her top down in the mud and showing this 
beetle thing getting closer. And I'm going to alternate the arms because the last time I showed him, he was just doing the other way. We have the most whiny dog I think I've ever known in my life. She whines for everything. She might also be hungry. <sighs> yeah, I know. All right, Serenity, thanks for coming. Rest your hand. I never remember. Sometimes I get so lazy, I don't want to look back in my sketchbook, but I know it would be best to. Okay. It took that much time, too. That's how dumb I am sometimes. Like, I'm lazy about really stupid stuff. Never lazy about stuff that's actually, like, important. But when it comes to stupid things, I'm like, yeah, do I need to do that? Alright, so these are the Maybells. These are my, my little, little Lily of the Valley pips. So they're the suitable savior, basically. So 
So because of this stream, I'm getting about three three days in advance. Mushy, quiet. So I think we'll do that next Wednesday, probably at about 2 o'clock central time. Uh, Gabe will probably do a Q&A about comics on Journey June's uh, Instagram account. So if you're not already following Journey Through June on Instagram, you might want to if even just to get a couple comic tips next week. What are you doing, Momo? I think she just wants to go outside, Gabe. I found that usually a five minute walk can buy like 30 minutes of silence. <laughs> funny because sometimes I feel like characters when I'm, I'm drawing them and I'm like, you know what? These guys are tiny and they can't do much and they're zooming over mud and I don't know what they're going to do once they get to her. I don't know how they're going to help. But I'll figure it out when we get there, I guess. That's kind of how I'm thinking about it.
Oh boy, okay. What's everybody else up to? Now here's here's the tough part. <laughs> How violent do I want to be? Like if it's for kids, you know, you got to think about that. Like I could jam the spoon in his throat. But I don't know. I feel like if it was a kids thing, You'd just skip to him at this point being asleep. Like you'd show him and be like, oh, knocked out, right? Maybe they just smack him up a bit and then like pose and he's like, oh, and he runs away, kind of like a dog. Spoon his eyes out and feed them to his mother. An option. Yeah, that's pretty good. Isn't it more scary if you eat his eyes to instill fear? Because if you'll eat his eyes, what else will you do? I kind of think that's more intimidating than feeding him to his mom. Plus the mom thing, you gotta find her. Then there's a whole thing of getting her to eat him. If it's you, it's right then and there and you, you crazy. So you show him you unhinged you know, for the kids. Do it for the children. Like it might freak him out that you're driving to his mom's house with him in the car and his eyes on hand to show him his mom eating him. That's, that's, that is kind of messed up in its own way. That's dedication, yeah. So many options. Oh. <gasps> you know, I am a little worried. I might have to cut the stream because I'm already two more days ahead. And I'm a little afraid of going too far. I know that sounds weird, but I like to give things ample thinking time. So... Oh man, she sounds wrecked. Did you run her? Did she have a stick? Oh, it's mushy. Oh, it's mushy. 
Good girl. <laughs> Just do two stories for Journey Joe. Like, whatever, right? Just do two. It's that easy. Duh. I mean, I'm not probably going to make it too violent, obviously. I just think they want to instill a little fear in this guy. <sighs> so, maybe they'll just smack him up a bit. And hold their ground. <laughs> I doubt this, but has anybody seen the movie Slapshot? <laughs> I am totally dating myself here, but it's okay. rpg -um, DHT? What do you mean? You could just roleplay game them? What does that mean? Like what? Unless you mean RPG like the gun. If you mean the gun, that's kind of silly. In fact, I have no idea what to do. <laughs> Mushy, go get some wagwa. Wagwa? Sounds pretty good, right? Wagwa? She's tired. Alright, um... <laughs> Trying to think of views now. Because I know, I think, what panel I want after this one, but I don't know about this one right now. I think it has to show the connection, clocking him. The other thing is, one of these guys is always happy, one is always mad, so the happy one has the spoon and is gonna hit him. So this is very PG, alright? Very PG violence. So as I've told other people doing Journey June, when you're not sure what to do, just kind of do anything for now, because you can just go back and fix it later. The more important thing is to just have something down for right now. Buggles, how you doing? I 
I don't like the wings. So I think I'm actually going to take those back out. I kind of like the idea that he's just kind of a mud swimmer. So I think adding wings actually is more confusing. He can still have a carapace. I just don't want him to have actual wings, I think. As for what he is, it doesn't even make sense. Mm. Also, I think I'm accidentally uh, like calling too much from Pokemon on this one, so I'm trying to undo what I'm thinking and make sure it's not actually too influenced by Pokemon. Because I had put in mandibles, but they ended up looking like Paras, and I don't want them to look like Paras. See right here? It really looks like Paras. I really don't want that. This was his spoon, man. You took his spoon. Not cool. Maybe his wings only come out to kind of skate across the mud. Yeah, I dig that. That works. <laughs> like, they're not flying wings. They're just, like, velocity wings. gotten so used to brainstorming out loud, I almost feel like I'm two different people talking sometimes. It feels really weird. Oh, that's okay, Boggles. Were you planning on doing it? I mean, honestly, you could probably catch up in a night if you really wanted to. Because each one of these really should, like, each prompt should only take, like, 15 minutes at most. Because th they're this level, right? And if you just do one a prompt, you're okay. So we're only up to here. So, you, you know, these aren't very many to get up to. Right now, I'm here. So during this stream, I've already done three. And I'm not even doing just one per. I'm doing a bunch. So I think you could actually catch up pretty easily. Um, yeah, there you go. Now what could the other one do? That I'm gonna have to figure out. Maybe he just helped launch her? Yeah, that'd be way better. I wanted them both to jump, but if the other one just launches her... That makes more sense. Because then they're, it shows their teamwork a bit more. do it you know and if you don't want to post every day uh, that's okay you could post like uh, a batch at the end of the week just post like if you want to do separate ones seven separate ones or if you only do one per prompt you can fit up to ten so if you just wanted to do um, every ten drawings you do you could do that um, if you don't want to post it, you don't have to. Just make sure you're taking good notes of what day is which. And if you end up wanting the free publishing class at the end, you will have to post them somewhere so we can at least see them. You don't have to show them to other people, but uh, just for us at the moment.
Oh my god, I've been drawing that off screen. Sorry. Really, Mayfox? Good. Good, good, good. Yeah. Um, I feel like they did too. Um, I was second guessing Call to Adventure this year. Or Answers Aftermath. One of those I might next year expand or pull apart into two days. But I don't know. It's like right before it happens, I always like overthink it. And then it happens, I'm like, ah, maybe we shouldn't be spending too much time in the beginning. And then it happens, I'm like, ah, that was okay. But if we get to the same trouble area we did last year, and I'm like, oh, this is clunky, I think I might do it. Just because there is an area that is clunky. I don't want to say where, but I want to make sure it's clunky for a second uh, time in a row. I think you've been doing great, Mayfox. Even if you haven't gotten like an actual second to think about it, I think you've been doing well with what you have done, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. It shouldn't take too much, you know? You should be able to just think about it like if you're waiting for your car to get its oil changed or something, it should be something like that. Or like in the shower that day, stuff like that. Honey, what are you doing? What are you doing back there? She's leaning her head on my on my subwoofer. Look at this. This is adorable. Well, DHT, why not use our uh, Journey June thing? It might help you figure out what to do, you know? Um, and I mean, it's not like I invented it, so... It's not like it's stealing or whatever. I just reappropriated it into a, a monthly thing. So if you want to use that as kind of your guideline for your story, I say go for it. Where's your head, Mushy? There you go. Oh, I put my foot in her mouth without... Eh, she's licking my foot! Ah! Uh, okay. Um, I might stop soon just so I don't get too crazy because, yeah, I do like to think a little bit further on some of these, but I think that's pretty good for suitable savior. Maybe they should pull her out. So I was thinking that we should go to puppy playtime tomorrow because next Saturday you're going to be gone.
I almost had a panic problem. I was like, where's my thumbnail template? Because it wasn't in the holster. Turns out it was right next to the sketchbook. If I do make a thistle pip, it might be a jerk. Because I haven't made an evil one yet.
Oh, that sounds way too much like Harry Potter. <sighs> well, I was in my head for a little bit. Alright, I think I'm gonna go in a place. <laughs> Does anybody have anything they want to ask or talk about real quick before we go? Um, Gabe will be streaming next Wednesday. You sure you want to do Wednesday and not Monday again? Yeah. No, I don't want to do it. Okay. Um, Gabe will be on next Wednesday at 7 p.m., so a half an hour from now, next Wednesday. Um, he'll also be streaming earlier in the day at 2 p.m. Central, which is about four hours ago, Wednesday. <laughs> And he'll be taking questions on uh, comics. So if any of you are making a comic for your journey June, um, feel free to stop by and ask any comic questions you have. He's a comic vet, so he knows stuff. Um, and he'll be there to help you guys through that. So, Snaggle, it was good to see you. I'm glad you got to stay here for a while. Um, I hope if you're doing any of your medieval reenactment stuff or fighting that you're having a lot of fun with it. <laughs> okay. Um, well, stay strong with your journey, Junes. If anybody has any questions on it, feel free to uh, message us. Um, and we'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Remember that this pin still exists, and it's pretty dope. I'm actually really proud of it. And it comes with the journey, June list and all that stuff. So you can find that right here at the bottom of the screen. Um, otherwise, yeah. We'll see you guys next week. Happy first week of June. Bye!